Happy Thursday, friends. Thanks for connecting with us here on Facebook Live and uh, other mediums on the internet. Uh, today is Thursday of Holy Week, and I want to bring with you, I want to bring to you a little bit of, of the message from the Word of God as we consider this week that Jesus uh, journeyed as he prepared to give his life at the cross. And I'm going to read today from uh, Mark, or Matthew chapter 26, beginning with verse 1. When Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to his disciples, As you know, the Passover is two days away, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and they schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and to kill him. But not during the festival, they said, or there may be a riot among the people. Biblical historians believe that on, on this day of Thursday of Holy Week, that uh, it began with Peter and John being sent away to prepare, uh, make meals and preparations for the for this Passover meal that they were to celebrate together. After sunset, they would eat the meal, uh, the, the 12 disciples and Jesus, and Jesus would wash the feet of his disciples. And um, at this point, Judas kind of departs from the group. Uh, that In fact, that same day, is that, that same evening is where the Lord's Supper, which we'll be celebrating together on Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, the Lord's Supper was instituted where as we celebrate communion, celebrating and acknowledging the, the, the very presence of Jesus Christ in our lives. After this point, Jesus goes to the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, he goes there to pray, and many of you are familiar with the biblical passages that show that he was praying with such intensity and such agony and such fervor that the historians say that he, uh, the sweat on his brow began to manifest itself in the form of of blood dropping from his from his forehead. Um, it's also a time that uh, that of betrayal by Judas, uh, the arrest by the Sanhedrin, and so at this point Jesus is taken to the house of the high priest, uh, and the 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 uh, the Sanhedrin are convened to begin his trial, and it's at this day historians believe is the day that Peter uh, betrayed Jesus. By denying him three times. This is Good Friday, or excuse me, this is the day before Good Friday. This is this is Thursday. And this gives us a reminder of the events that lead up to this mon this monumental day of the of the resurrection, this day that we come to celebrate. But there was much work to be done in this path and much sacrifice by the Lord. So I encourage you as you are huddled in your homes and you're kind of worried about tomorrow, to remember that God has a plan. He carried Jesus through this week. He had a plan 2,000 years ago, and he has a plan today as well. And he knows your needs and your concerns and your worries, and he loves you tremendously. He will not let you falter. Let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for never giving up on us. Thank you for the plan that you have, that you so perfectly executed May we step into that plan and be a part of your journey. Bless each one that's listening to this message. Lord, I pray you'll open our hearts. Open our hearts to what you have for us. Those who don't yet know you, those who are seeking you, and those who know you well, help us to seek your face and to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow on Good Friday. And then we have our Good Friday webcast good friday at uh, 7 p.m that's that's tomorrow at 7 p.m on facebook live and youtube um, and then we will have our sunday gathering at 10 30 for the families nine o'clock for children and 9 30 for the youth also online god bless you